Peace to the family, peace to the family. Brother Divine here, man, on uh, day eight of life as an entrepreneur. Uh, it's a Thursday here in Huntsville, Alabama. And uh, what I wanted to do today, um, and I'm going to be doing this uh, more often or whatnot on the vlog. Um, today is Thursday, so on Thursday, I always want to give like a uh, branding and, uh, you know, uh, promo tips. Just giving like free game or whatnot on Thursdays as far as uh, business or whatnot. So um, I know we had book there not too long ago. And um, this is a book. I'm not sure if I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I talked about it or whatnot. But Marketing Demystified or whatnot this is a very uh, good book as far as like your marketing in, uh, in business or whatever. So uh, I picked out a few things. Uh, this is one of the lessons they were talking about in the book. And um, I just wanted to drop that to you guys on this good Thursday, uh, day eight of the content, uh, excuse me, of the vlog. So um, pretty much I want to just talk about what branding is. Uh, pretty much they started off with the like the principles of branding. And uh, branding, you know, is all about like attracting customers and clients, building a relationship and a uh, customer retention. And it all starts with your branding. So uh, what a brand is, it is a recognizable mark, logo, or logo type designed to communicate predictability, excuse me, predictable emotional and behavioral responses in the minds of prospective buyers, all right? And uh, branding is the action of building relationships with customers through image uh, you project, you know, as far as like your content, as far as your marketing, your uh, advertisement uh, material, your brochures, your business cards, the actual logo itself is a part of your branding. So these things you really want to, you know, uh, think out, you know, as far as like long term, uh, how would this uh, brand grow, elevate as time goes on? So you really want to, you know, really sit down and think about your brand and what you're uh, going to come with in business or whatnot. And also, branding is the action of building relationships with customers. Through, uh, oh, excuse me, I already said that. Uh, your brand logo is an external visual representation of ownership, as well as the in inner message people uh, when they see the mark or hear about your company. You know what what they see uh, visually. You know, as far as like your branding, uh, I can give you an example. Uh, when me and my brothers we had a screen print company, uh, our logo was very recognizable. We had a client that we end up uh, doing a consultation with, and she didn't remember the actual uh, name of the company, but she knew the logo. So she was just looking on YouTube as far as, I mean, not YouTube, but uh, Facebook, as far as like screen printing companies. And she just remembered that logo. So that's like, you know, how powerful uh, branding is as far as like your imagery. Uh, with your logo and everything like that. So like I said, you really want to think that out uh, when you come up with uh, your business. And uh, to cultivate brand value, you know, your brand is the value that customers sense in you. Not what you project, you know, you're, and you know, you really want to be in contact and really listen to your uh, clients or whatnot, your customers. Because they're gonna let you know what you know how they feel about your brand. You need to take all this information in or whatnot. Uh, they're gonna tell you what your value is, and uh, you know with that, you know you can actually you know come up with a plan to find out you know certain price points of uh, you know what you can get from customers as far as your brand once you you know build you know your reputation or whatnot. So to create brand value, you know connections based. Excuse me. To create brand, I mean, excuse me, to create value-based connections, you will need to launch or relaunch your brand with products and services that deliver positive and mean, meaningful benefits and outcomes uh, for your prospects. So I'm gonna give you an example, uh, like with me, wearing my jewelry, you know, and like I said, I'm building a luxury brand of metaphysical jewelry. So an example, wearing my jewelry will garner the attention of, you know, a social setting. I tell people all the time, man, with this jury, right? With my jury or the jury that you see Gucci Man or all of these rappers wearing, jury is nothing but an eyesore. Okay, especially when you get extra type stuff like this right here. 
You know what I'm saying? It's real extra. I like, and this is why I always have all my jewelry on everywhere I go. I'm always wearing my. Yeah, man, I get a lot of attention, man. And like I said, it's just an eyesore, man. It's just to get somebody's attention when they walk past. So um, my jewelry, it gets the same attention. And that's why I'm creating a luxury brand of uh, metaphysical jewelry or whatnot. So, um, you know, uh, also to make an impact, uh, your goal for a marketing bulletin must appeal to and coincide with the buyer's emotional perception of value, need, pain, and the belief of what they can and will enjoy uh, enjoy life after buying uh, your product, whatever it is you're saying, selling because emotions, not prices, rule buying decisions. And uh, emotion, uh, emotions can be triggered by the impact of your communication or whatnot. So you want to be uh, very powerful of how you communicate your message to the public as far as like your marketing and uh, advertising and whatnot. Uh, brand benefits are built in these ways in the minds of employees and uh, customers through taglines, messages, expertise and experiences, through advertising and marketing strategies amid eternal relationships with the uh, employees and external relationships with customers, the community and the media by experiences uh, with products and services, you know, through customer reviews, and as customers and others share your message uh, for you, you know, through word of mouth or whatnot. So, you know, this all comes with your quality. Uh, like I say, uh, using those customer reviews on your uh, whatever sites or, you know, your website, your YouTube, your uh, Facebook, whatever it is that your your main hub for promoting your business, you want to make sure you, you know, you use that. And, you uh, in the book, they were talking about this strategy called the bold strategy, right? And a bold stands for uh, it's four uh, key components in branding any strategy and uh, it's branding identity or organizing excuse me organizational strength loyalty marketing and diagnostics now brand marketing I mean excuse me brand identity is the image you project of your company uh, you know your products and services the job is to translate your business insight into visuals that external excuse me intensely communicate feelings that connect with your customers as you build rapport you will engage interest or build trust and affect the sense that invoke emotions uh, learn your customers then use the knowledge to map out a marketing mix into your brand message tell customers what they want and need to know not what you want them to know um, you know this is just uh, like I say it, it, it tells you right there people will buy things based on emotion so you want to be able to invoke that emotion of whatever it is to uh, you know get people to some uh, support your brand uh, to spend money with you and uh, and things of that nature uh, the old part in the bold strategy is organizational strength and this is just pretty much talking about how you know your, your if you have employees uh, they're pretty much like a part big 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 part of building your brand they influence customer perception often make or break customers experiences and can help out distance uh, help you out distance yourself with the competition now I really wanted to reiterate on this part right here um, because and like I said we always want to just give life lessons so I was having a conversation with a, a brother that I used to go to school with or whatnot and he started a lawn care business and he had a big contract with uh, some people for uh, you know some work or whatnot now when he took the contract he started hiring people and when he hired these people he wasn't on the location while the work was getting done so pretty much to make a long story short 
um, he ended up losing the contract because the people that he hired, they were doing real shoddy work or whatnot. Uh, and it left a, like a bad impression on his business. And uh, so, you know, this is very key in business. If you have employees, you want to have employees that are just as passionate as you are about your business. So uh, be very, very wary about who you hire in business. And uh, that's a representation of your business while you're not there, if you're not on location. So uh, this is it, you know, excluding if, if you know, if you're like a solo entrepreneur and you're doing everything yourself. Employees are like your first uh, touch point with your customers. Developing uh, employees who understand and are well prepared to communicate your brand message is like very, very clutch. You want people who are like very, very passionate about your business, just like how you are. And it's, it's very make or break, man. And if you're if you have bad employees, it's a representation of who you are, even if that isn't who you are. These are the first people that really touch bases with your customers, especially if you're not on site with you know, your employees or whatnot. So you wanna be careful and build up a, a real solid team. Uh, the L part of the bold strategy is loyalty marketing. Uh, you know, you wanna build loyalty by planning a marketing effort that makes sure you stay in touch with your customers and keep them coming back. Nurture relationships so your customers will see you as a valuable, valuable resource problem solver and fulfiller of dreams. Stay in contact with customers through newsletters, blogs, or blogs, advertisement, uh, advertising, website updates, and events. And always let them know that you always have their best interests at heart. Voice in a barrage of email messages. And uh, if you use like an email campaign, you want to create permission-based lists with links for them to opt in or opt out. Yeah, those are things, you know, you can uh, you can do as far as like uh, helping you, you know, build a uh, brand loyalty as far as, you know, uh, in the bold statement or excuse me, the bold strategy. And the D part in the bold strategy is diagnostics. And uh, this will help you make better branding decisions and become better at forecasting results. Uh, diagnostic, tool, uh, diagnostic tools like uh, feedback reviews, surveys, marketing research, accounting and statistical analysis uh, these all provide insight to your brand impact. As you uh, analyze and evaluate every part of your marketing effort and test your assumptions, you will uh, develop marketing IQ or whatnot. So, you know, this you want to pay attention to like uh, your back end uh, dashboard on like your website or, you know, if you're using the Etsy, whatever, as far as like your numbers, you know, your inventory. Uh, simple things like having like a feedback box. Uh, if you're a vendor and you have products that you sell at vending events, just having like a feedback box and really taking heed to the feedback that you get from customers. Uh, you get a lot of key clutch information when you actually listen to your customers and they really pay attention when you take heed to things that they say and that helps with, you know, building that, uh, uh, that brand value or whatnot. So, you know, also you want to integrate visuals, messages, messages and experiences for impact and your brand must influence in a positive way what people see, experience, say, and believe about you or whatnot. So helpful branding, management beliefs uh, that'll help, you know, build up the, as far as like the belief system in your brand. Uh, you want to be innovative uh, as far as like, you know, being first in the market and keeping, uh, keeping ahead of your competition or whatnot. So you want to be very, very creative don't follow the pack and you want to be the wave creator. You want to actually be the one that's uh, creating waves as far as like uh, your innovations uh, of whatever it is you're bringing as far as products and services. Uh, you also want to be provocative in imagery and capture and sustain attention. So, you know, you want to have well thought out advertisement videos or whatever it is as far as like your content, um, what you're giving out to the public. Uh, you also want to uh, have concrete differentiators uh, that clearly art, art, articulate the value of your company or whatever it is uh, your brand is. Also, the market responds uh, responses based on customer trials, experience, and testimonies deliver important feedback about your brand. Also, attention to customer feedback will help keep uh, your brand vital or whatnot. Just like I was saying, um, if you're at a event, an event, you want to have like a little uh, feedback box and give customers an opportunity to tell you about your brand uh, things that they like and also dislike and don't take it personal you can't take business personal
listen to what the people are saying and if you can improve on it improve on it and people will appreciate that as far as like your uh, your clientele and uh, they'll spread the word man like I say word of mouth is like one of the most powerful tools in marketing and branding so you want to uh, have the customers really really on your team and rooting for you so um, in the book they gave 20 ways to help connect with your customers as far as like your brand and what I always say brand in the land uh, number one is create compelling visual designs and use on banners brochures and your boxes as far as like you know uh, you know giving out your uh, things to uh, customers once you make a sale number two write a press release uh, you know post that on your website or add a podcast recording number three is uh, contact a reporter to generate public relations interest number four ads in local papers radios tv and uh, the internet within your budget uh, number five is build buzz with interactive contests on your website number six is send out newsletter number seven is speak before a group uh, number eight is offer referral incentives to your customers uh, number nine is uh, keep employees happy because uh, they're going to spread the word and like i say word of mouth is like a very very powerful marketing to in a branding or whatnot uh, number 10 is create a video and a place on your website or your YouTube um, number 11 you uh, you may want to write a blog or you know create a video vlog number 12 join a network group number 13 launch an email campaign number 14 host a meeting on a topic of interest uh, for your customers uh, number 15 write and publish a book number 16 leave a value driven message on your voicemail uh, number 17 eliminate voicemail and just use direct calls number 18 attend trade shows number 19 build a good marketing list and uh, number 20 pretty much just reach out and touch just being proactive and uh, you know putting yourself out there man and just being uh, everywhere man where people are, big groups of people are going to be so you can actually advertise and just brand and just let people know about your services or products or whatever it is you're bringing to the public and uh, just relaying your call to action to get people to actually you know act on that so uh, in the book it was uh, they brought this uh, let me go to the page and I'm going to pull it up on the uh, up so y'all can see it and it's pretty much just a table and it's called identifying the benefits solutions and outcomes uh, you know for customers and you want to take them through this whole uh, process or whatnot and uh, this will help you know as far as like your branding or whatnot and uh, number one is like you know uh, identifying the customers problem and need or whatnot so I'm gonna give you an example uh, uh, the customer is shorthanded at work and employees can't keep up with the workload the customer needs uh, doesn't receive products on time uh, so you want to come up with a solution to that you know what I'm saying this is the situation so number two your products and uh, services is a solution and uh, you present that to the company because you know you, you identified the problem that they're having so an example our staffing company has employees who are ready and able to uh, put people to work uh, when you are um, so after that you know you want to the benefits you want to relay the benefits to whoever that potential customer is an example of that with this examples that we're using is uh, more hands uh, are available at the office work is complete more quickly when you use our uh, temporary uh, staffing solution uh, your own customers are highly satisfied and there is less worry and stress for you as a manager or whatnot and then also you just want to uh, you know display the uh, ultimate impact on their life an example of that you will be able to trans uh, act more business more quickly with fewer problem as a result you will rest easily at night company managers also may get a bonus for meeting critical project deadlines strengthen their productivity and adding revenue so like I say you want to uh, identify uh, potential customers and clients problems whatever it is they're hot uh, having the problems or whatever and the solution to those problems is whatever your services or products is you are uh, pretty much you translate your benefit to the customers and then you know let them know about the ultimate impact of how it will help them you know with their uh, quality of life or whatnot so you know um, you really want to you know 
all of this just helps with the branding and whatnot, bringing in potential customers and uh, really relaying that call to action like I was talking about earlier. Uh, so, you know, you want to hone in on the benefits. You know, uh, you do this by, you know, research and development, uh, differentiating your brand, you know, with brand recognition and whatnot, uh, relaying, you know, uh, the benefits of your brand. Also, you want to meet the needs of your customers, you know, provide solutions. And uh, the three key ways to do this is through money, time, and productivity. You want to, uh, you know, how can you save them money and make them money? As far as time, can you, how can you save them time and uh, maximize their time? And as far as productivity, how can you increase their productivity, enhance their morale or whatnot as far as whatever they have going on in their life? So uh, it's all about just being a service and benefit to the customer, man. It's all about just being uh, there for the customer, man, in whatever capacity uh, that they're in and whatever services and products that you have. Um, this all is just a part of branding and building a brand loyalty, brand recognition, brand identity, uh, brand in the land, man, I'm talking about is is very key in um, you know in business and small business especially when you just starting out in business so so um yeah man um these are just some things i just wanted to go over or whatnot on this thursday uh i'll be building more content um like i say it'll be a whole lot more structured or whatnot um as i progress with this vlog or whatnot but um yeah you guys really need to check out this book marketing demystified a self-teaching guide. Y'all know I'm, I'm very big on self-educating, uh, self-education, uh, educating yourself as far as business. Yes, you want to have a solid team of people that are smarter than you in certain areas and, uh, you know, take heed of what they're saying, but also, you know, you want to educate yourself and be able to speak the lingo when you do sit down with these people and uh, you know that type of thing so uh, like I said be on the more lookout on uh, as far as the uh, the content we will be getting better very soon uh, gratitude to everybody that's been uh, supporting the, the content that I've been providing thus far um, all feedback comments uh, critiques or whatever is welcome uh, you can email me or you can comment on the uh, on the YouTube channel itself and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, for today um, I'll be doing some uh, interviews real soon so uh, from other fellow entrepreneurs uh, that have been in business just to give perspective on a, on their personal journey as far as what they've been experiencing as far as business and uh, like I said this this whole platform is just to, to motivate educate and demonstrate through uh, actual lived experience uh, what business is like you know, it's always not going to be highs. It's not always going to be lows. So, uh, yeah. Peace to the family, though. I just want to uh, give that information. But I hope y'all have a good day. High vibrations, high prosperity to all the small business owners that might be watching this uh, this content or whatnot. And uh, thank you for support. So, peace to the family, man. I hope y'all have a good day. Peace from Brother Divine. Have a good day.